So Kate, each of the physios at Elevate all have their specialities. What is yours? Dan, I really enjoy treating disorders of the, the lumbar pelvic region and hip. I find uh, in the health setting, we can often overcomplicate treating this area. And even though the anatomy and the relationship between these structures is complex, the treatment approach need not be. It's one of those areas that really doesn't discriminate. We see it in people of all ages, stages, activity lev levels and disciplines. And so I think if we can have a targeted and measured assessment and guide our, our treatment approach based on, on your movement deficits and your pain presentation, we generally get a really good outcome. Mm -hmm. I've also found treating this area to be a really good professional challenge because there's a huge scope for improvement for educating the patient about body awareness, movement patterns, and just overall conditioning of the area. Mm -hmm. And so people of all you know, ages, shapes, sizes coming in with hip issues, what are some of the common uh, things that you see? Certainly within the change of direction athlete, we tend to see issues related to some cartilage damage within the hip. But a lot of the time, you don't have to be a dancer or a soccer player to complain of hip pain. And a lot of the time, it really comes down to making sure that you're quite strong through your stabilizers in your hips, namely your lateral hip, your posterior hip, as well as having a reasonable baseline of, of trunk strength and stability. And we all throw that word out there, of course, stability, and, and it is just paramount in managing these injuries. Right. And so for, for uh, a lot of people we see that aren't athletes, that are office workers, um, you know, that just do, might do a bit of occasional exercise and things, but really they're spending a lot of time sitting down behind a desk. A, a hip injury is something common there? They are, because we all walk. And you'd right. be amazed at how we can have some aberrant motor strategies just simply when we're walking that can lead to overload of certain hip structures. 